Hey, girlies and gays. I'm in my car and we have boba. As you guys already know, today it's gonna be a fucking disaster. It's gonna be a fucking disaster. Um, anyways, guys, how are you guys doing this Gorga day? How are you? So you guys like, you guys enjoyed the TJ Maxx video, right? You guys enjoyed it. You liked it. You lived for it. You were, it was, it was giving you the fantasy that you guys wanted to have. This feels like a wand. Oh my God. Oh my God. So I'll tell you guys, we're actually gonna do the same thing, but we're going to Marshalls this time. I feel like these are, this is like my nails. Like I wanna like, we're gonna go to Marshalls today. We're gonna spend 500 bills and see what's worth the coin. Am I gonna actually spend 500? Probably not. Let's be honest with ourselves here. But I'm gonna get close. I'm gonna get a really halo close. You already know so I can make and click me. We're gonna go to Marshalls and we're gonna see what's good there and what's actually worth the coin. I actually do enjoy these videos. Honestly, I really, really do. I think they're super fun. I actually think they're really fun. I love to get out of the house and like actually just film and like chill and hang out with you guys. So that's what it's gonna be. We're gonna go shopping. We're gonna have fun and see what's worthy at Marshalls. You guys said go to Marshalls in the TG Max video, so that's where I'm going. Anyways, guys, that's what today's gonna be. As always, if you guys like this video, if you guys don't like me, please fucking watch it and you'll enjoy with that. But if you guys do like this video, if you guys like shopping with me videos, if you guys like the gays. Hi, gay. <laughs> give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you're not already. Let's get going to Marshalls. <laughs> Mar, shall we? That was lame, huh? This was like a good 25 minutes out of my way, by the way. Um, There's also like hella shit on this road. There's like five below right here, which I actually am a huge fan of. Should I do a five below video? I've done one of those a long, long time ago. Maybe I'll do another one. I haven't done it in forever. See what kind of goodies we can find at five below? Let me know, let me know. There's also a Ross right there. They got it all on this fucking road, what the hell? Maybe I should come back here more often. Hmm. We have found the beauty shop, the Mecca, the Marshall's Mecca. Aww. Elsa, let me in. Go away, Anna. Anyway, let's keep it going. Let's keep it moving. <gasps> I see makeup. Why does that sound like fucking hocus pocus? I smell children. I smell children. So we have this little section here that says premium brands without premium pricing. And I dead ass don't recognize a single brand. So what the fuck y'all talking about premium brands? Hmm? 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 I'm confusion. I kinda wanna try this though. Max Studio Contour Sticks. Hmm. Okay, now we're getting somewhere, fam. Now we're getting somewhere. Luminous Skin Tint. We have some stuff that we actually did find at TJ Maxx. TJ Mike. Look at this. Some tinted moisturizers. This one I didn't see, the Luminous Skin Tint. I might have to get one of these. Okay, we have a lot of similar things in here. What's this? Contour Mousse. Okay. Now wait a damn minute, you guys. We have some Dragon Beauty lip liners up in here. Oh, you guys, these are fucking fire. $3.99, I love these lip liners. These are bomb. All right, part of me wants to take them all. <laughs> part of me wants to take them all. Which one I want to take? One CC for sure. I'm gonna take one of each, because I love these. This is a good find at Miss Marshall's. Look at some MAC lipsticks too. Wait a damn minute. Wait a damn minute. <laughs> is that pronounced like fuck it? I just gasped. We have a MAC Extra Dimension and Double Gleam. Are you joking? Oh. You're coming home with me. You're coming home with me. It's Iggy Eggs. The total package. Look at that, the whole brush set's in here for $8 only. Wow. This is actually a great find. This might be one of the most shocking finds. So it's the Perfect Sculpt Kit by Ellen Tracy. Shade four is Contour. Who's contouring with the shimmer? I just have, I have questions. Who's contouring with the shimmer? So I'm not gonna lie, you guys. I actually really enjoy the layout so much more here at Marshalls than I do at TJ Maxx. I just feel like it's easier. Like, like the palettes are laid out in one section. You know, we have like the lip products in one section. It just makes it like 10 times easier, honestly. What's in here? Let's start digging. Hmm, we got some Morphe. We have Beauty Concepts, Revolution here. We have, oh, Subculture and Riviera. Some ABH, okay. We got some BLK. We have some more Dragon Beauty here. Palettes, these are like honestly really nice. I swear to God, I'm taking one of everything from Dragon Beauty. <laughs> I swear to God, because they have good stuff. Oh my God, wait a damn minute. A Venus 2? I don't love the color story. Hmm. Okay guys, so I got to the clearance section here. And I just wanted to do a side note. So for example, there's tons of ABH Riviera palettes here, right? Just as an example. 
These are over there in the other section for like 20 bucks. They're 15 here at the clearance. So, if you're ever wondering like, oh, like this looks fucking dope, I want this. Check the clearance section first because it might be a similar uh, thing discounted. I just gasped. I'm in line, I looked out. My favorite fucking cut. Oh my goodness. Come here, baby. I missed you. Not them saving the good stuff for the line. What the hell are they doing? Why is this not in the other section? Well, I definitely spent more time in there than I wanted to. Um, first impressions, you guys. First impressions. Marshalls is kind of taking it. Like over the two, Marshalls kind of slayed me. I spent a good 230 in there and I feel like I made out with better stuff than I did at TJ Maxx and I spent 300 at TJ. Let's get back home and let me show you guys this haul. Thank you so much, Manny out in the fields. What if I talk like that? I'd have zero subs. <laughs> anyway, you guys, we have a bag. We have in fact, Secured the bag. Let's see what we got from Marshall. I'm gonna go and talk about my skincare stuff first that I grabbed that I'm obviously not gonna be using in today's video. Skincare wise, you guys, these are what I grabbed. I grabbed the Shiseido Facial Cotton. When I saw these there, I'm not kidding. I'm not kidding. I was literally freaking the fuck out. I grabbed three of them. These were only three bucks each, each row. And I'm obsessed, these are my favorites. So I, I mean, I should've just taken the fourth, huh? I just grab the fourth one. And I also grabbed this. This is like a little Tatcha um, holiday set, essentially. And this was 30 bucks when the value is 78 bucks. So I just thought that was, in general, really, really good. I used the Dewy Skin Mist, the Lip Mask, and the Liquid Canvas. I don't use the powder, but I used these two, so I thought that would be kind of like a good thing, especially when I travel. It'd be kind of perf. So I grabbed these skincare goodies that I will be incorporating and using. Thank you. Okay, so let's go and start on with the goods. Woo! I... You guys, I, I literally went in. I went the fuck in. Let's go and start off first with our primer. We got this from Pure. This is the Pure Blurring Photography Primer. And it's just a primer that blurs. And it was for seven bucks, six ninety nine. This is what it looks like. I've never used this before. But, you know, I'm intrigued. The packaging, I think, is really, really adorable. It's like a nice tan nude with this holographic overspray. And the cap is cute. I like the packaging. But will I like the product and it's sealed? Mmm! It has a gold sheen. What is that? What was that? Um, okay, it has a gold sheen. It said blurring, right? So listen, when I hear blurring, I don't actually hear shimmery. You know, I don't, those things don't really coincide in my brain. They don't. So, um, what's going on? What's going on? My hands are shimmery. My face is literally shimmery. It's terrible. It's terrible. Let me do it on my phone. Let me just show you guys what's happening on my phone. It is no way, shape, or form blurring. It actually emphasized my pores and texture. Hmm, that's funny. You would think blurring would be blurring and not shimmery. So, I, in fact, hate that journey for me, and it gives you a sheen. So, I understand why this is at Marshalls now. Okay, guys, let's move on to the next thing. We have foundation. Actually, you know what? Let me go soak a sponge. We have these from Japanesque. These are the just sponges. I grabbed them. These are this was only $4.99 for the two of them. And I like Japanese sponges. I think they do a great jo good job with them, so I'm expecting to like these. Not like last time when I went to TJ Maxx with those sponges. Baby, that were furry and got fur all over my body. I'm not a furry, okay? I'm not into that, so... Why was I furry? Oh my gosh, these feel a little hard, I'm not gonna lie. Hold on. Okay, so I just soaked this bad boy up and I will say, these don't feel nearly as soft and as squishy as other Japanese sponges I have used. These definitely feel a little bit harder, more stiff. They're still like soft sponges, but they're definitely not what I'm used to from the Japanese sponges, because I've tried the like other like black and white marbled one. It was really gooey, squishy, very like mm -mm. This, not so much. <sighs> We're off to a bad foot. So anyway, we guys, let's go and talk about foundation. What I grabbed for foundation, I grabbed the Becca Vanilla Ultimate Coverage 24 Hour. I'm worried though, I'm not gonna lie, I am worried because potential spam. I am worried because I tried a Becca concealer last time for my TJ Maxx and literally it was glue. It was Gorilla Glue. I'm worried, <laughs> I'm worried. Um, but I have this. I have the uh, Marc Jacobs Extra Shot Caffeine Light Concealer. We'll be using as our concealer today. This guy was 
$12.99. And the Becca Foundation was $10.99. So, let's roll up these sleeves. Shit, I'm nervous. And I have powder, I got, I got pure powder. For $6.99, that's a great price. $6.99 for a little powder, that's awesome. Okay, so let's go on to the foundation. It's gonna be in a pump, and it's brand new. I'm so scared. I'm so fucking scared right now, you shut up! What if it's old as fuck, you guys, and like, literally, it's coming out like little balls of shit. Okay, well, I'm gonna try it there, and we're just gonna go in with the sponge. Ooh, it's thick. Baby, she is... Oh, that smells like, it smells like Becca. Mm -hmm. You know what's weird though? I feel like I used to like this foundation back in the day. Did this come out when I worked at Sephora? I feel like it did, low key. But like it was in a different packaging. I could be wrong, I could be wrong. Look at that coverage, holy shit. Okay, immediate first impressions, way better than the concealer already. It's thick as fuck. I will not lie, it's thick as fuck. I should have shaved my upper stash area, huh? Should've shaved that area. I should've shaved there, but whatever. So I will say, this immediately is way better than the concealer. Like it's covering, it's going nicely, doesn't smell, smell expired whatsoever. And it's covering really pretty, like really nicely actually. Wait a damn minute. You guys, I'm not mad at this whatsoever. But I haven't seen it up close yet because I'm using my mirror that's like a little bit away from me. So I'm gonna pull up a mirror, see what it looks like up close. But like from here, this distance, it looks nice. It's giving me like a nice finish too. It's not super, it's not, Matte flat? Huh. I'm not mad so far. Will I be angry when I see it up close? We'll find out right now. I'm actually not mad at you guys. Mm -mm. I'm not angry. I'm not mad. I'm not angry. I mean, it's, it's, there's a little bit in my, like, there's like holes on my, you guys see those like little holes on my nose? Where like the primer didn't fill because the primer was shit. I'll give you guys a little zoom in when I'm done with the concealer as well. But I will say, I mean, it's definitely kind of drying down to more of a powdery finish. It's not matte though. It's a nice full coverage kind of satin, more leaning on the matte side foundation. Would it pick up on my dry patches? I'm not sure, I don't really think I have any dry patches right now. But it's definitely heavier, a heavier consistency on the skin. I can feel it, it's creamy, it's very intense. But I will say, like I'm much more impressed than I thought I was gonna be. So now it's going with the concealer. What if someone open this, you guys? I'll never know. And the world will turn to ash. They didn't have a lighter color than this, so we're gonna kinda have to make it work. Very creamy immediately. This color is like my skin tone. So is it gonna really brighten it up for us? Probably not, but we're gonna see what it can do. What it can do. It covered immediately. Holy shit, full coverage? Full coverage podcast, what? Okay, that's nice. The consistency is super liquidy. Full coverage, but I'm 100% not mad at this concealer either. Wow, are you guys seeing this? I'm just gonna go ahead and show you guys what it looks like on my phone. Like I was saying, full coverage, not matte under the eyes at all. The skin looks nice. The skin's looking nice. Other than the primer underneath, devastating, but that's not bad. It's definitely already settling in under, my, under my eyes though, but most concealers do, so. I'm not mad. I'm a little shocked. Why did I expect that to be trash? I really did, I really did. Okay guys, so now I'm gonna go in with this. I grabbed this as well. This is $3.99. It was a contour bronzer and highlight Max Studio Sticks. And sticks can be nervous sometimes, but we're gonna see. We're gonna see. Okay, this is a no. Yeah, immediately no, immediately no, immediately no. Not that jaundice ass yellow cream pencil. Where's that gonna go on my face? We have this more cool, a cooler tone brown. That's extremely deep. This is deceptive here. Uh-huh, okay. Uh, and then we have a really warm looking brown. That's giving red. <laughs> so we're gonna take a little bit of this. Fuck. I'm scared. Okay, we're gonna take a blending brush. And we're just gonna take a little bit and we're gonna pat it in. And we're just taking a little bit to start off with because I'm scared. It's blending well. And like once we blended it, it got to a good spot. But of the whole entire thing, I can only use one color. Like one, only one is realistic and it's a very cool tone. Obviously, it's like a contour shade. Maybe I can put it on the back of my hand and use a brush to pick it up. You know, let's try this. That works too. That works too. Actually, oh, that works a lot better. It's just very dark. Very cool. Hmm. I don't think this is the vibe. It's not the vibe. Stop. I'm gonna go and just say it right now. If you see the sticks, avoid the fucking sticks. Once you blend it all, like we can get it to a pretty good spot. And now I have like dimension on the skin, but that was rough and only one of the shades worked decently. Not even like well, it worked decently. So I would definitely not recommend the sticks. Definitely, definitely not. It looks pretty on the skin once we got it there, but took us a second. Took us a fucking second. Okay, so let's go ahead and set the face with this 
pure power. Okay, so it's gonna be one of those like, this is a cool component, I think. I think this is cool. See, now that you have powder on the back of it and you use this probably to powder. So. No, we're not ever, ever doing that again. What the hell? It went on so cakey, jeez. Okay, we're gonna take this sponge and we're gonna use that instead. And we're gonna put this on the skin and then we'll kind of go from there because that applicator was a hard no. No, absolutely not. Okay, so the powder itself is very heavy. Wow, okay, so this is very intense. Definitely like a thicker, talky powder. If you guys like those kind of powders though, like if you like that like talky, intense powder, I think you guys will like this. But I'm like not as into that talky powder thing anymore. I'm into like thinner, lighter weight powders now. And being that I'm working on a powder for my brand, I'm literally going for a super thin, lightweight powder that doesn't look super heavy on the skin. This is not that kind. This is the kind that will look a little heavier on the skin, but I'm not really into that as much anymore. But it's not bad. I mean, listen, I'm, it's a little bit heavier, but it's not, it really isn't bad. And it does, of course, blur the skin. It's fucking powder, for goodness sakes. But it's just a little bit on the heavier side when it comes to a powder. Definitely applying with the sponge is way better. The other way it was making it cakey as fuck. Also, like, with the component, is it like all just a trick? Like, for example, the entire thing, the whole way down is literally all empty space. So how much powder's in here really, you know? Nine grams. That's, that, that's like a good amount of powder though. I just wonder how it's distributed in here. But on the skin, it looks good um, once you get it on with like a nice wet sponge. But uh, yeah, if you're looking for a heavy kind of talky powder, you might like this. I'm just not really into that kind of powder anymore. Like I want something a little thinner, a little lighter weight for me now. As I grow older, I want lighter. Anyway, you guys, let's move ahead along. Okay, let's go with some bronzers. I found this palette here and it looked promising when I had opened it. This is $4.99 only. It's the BH Mrs. Claus Tinsel Twerking. Not tinsel twerking. And so I'm gonna go ahead and use this to kind of give me some color back to the face. It's a contour and highlight palette, but honestly the colors looked really promising to me. Like it looked nice swatching. They feel really nice. They're very uh, loosely packed, I will say, which worries me because that means it's gonna be a little intense. So let me make sure I just tap a little baby brush into it. I'm gonna take this shade right here. I'm gonna take Sugar Daddy. Who the fuck agreed to this for Mrs. Claus? Oh, it's Miss Claus. Santa's daughter is here to slay. You know what? I think that we're done with we're done with that. So there's that. Um, the color is beautiful, absolutely beautiful. It's going on gorgeously. It's a little uh, powdery, but the effect. I mean, if you guys have used BH uh, powders, you know they're a little powdery. They can be a little intense sometimes, but the products work well. So I will say that the bronzer is doing exactly what a bronzer should do. I'm using the shade Sugar Daddy, of course, which again, I the fact that it's called Sugar Daddy and it's in the Mrs. Cl Miss Claus palette, I'm so confused, but you know what? I'm not gonna question it. So we're bronzed. The color is absolutely stunning. Champagne highlighter, if the, I was gonna use a highlighter, feels amazing. It feels really, really good. I'm not gonna use a highlighter, but it feels nice. So if we have to, we will. For $5 bronzer highlight, this actually is kind of fire. Is the marketing weird as fuck? Absolutely. Is the whole vibe weird? 100%. But the products themselves, if you do see this and you're in the mood for like a bronzer slash highlighter vibe, I think you'd really, really be impressed. Even if you don't use these four, like me, I will not use those. I'll only use these two. But this duo by itself would be actually fire. It would be fire for five. I would pay five, four nine nine for that, hundred percent. So that is that, and I will say I'm very impressed with this. Other than the marketing, I'm impressed. Okay, guys. So for blush and highlighter, we pulled some goodies. Guys, I was actually at Marshalls longer than I was at TJ Maxx. I was at Marshalls for like a good like hour, I think, sifting through every single drawer, every single shelf everything. I looked through every single product there. So I actually grabbed a blush and a highlighter. These I was both shocked to find. We have a Bobbi Brown blush for $14.99. Bobbi Brown is a very high-end brand. It's fucking awesome. So I was really shocked that that was in there. I will say the fact that it's called Coral Sugar 45 and it's literally a cool tone pink does shock me. The fact that it's called Coral Sugar when it's a cool tone pink. But this shocked me the most. This is $16.99 from MAC. This is the Extra Dimension Skin Finish in Double Gleam. I love the Extra Skin Dimensions. They're fucking fire. So this is what the color looks like. This was the only one that they had. It's like an icy white shade. 
So let's go ahead and blush up. Bobby Brown blush. Ooh, it's very pow. Whoa. Whoa, Nelly. It is powdery as hell. So I mean, pink to tell. Sure is. Look at that. Are you joking? This isn't like that. Remember like how I tried like a ColourPop Cool Tone blush recently and it literally looked gray on me. It was so cool. This isn't so cool where it looks gray. It actually, I think, complements my skin really nicely, this color. Wow, I'm not mad, you guys. And it's Bobbi Brown, like that's a high-end brand. Find that Sephora, you know, it's Bobbi Brown. Let me spritz my face real quick. I'm fucking looking cakey though, I'm not gonna lie. I'm looking cakey. Because, you know, obviously that combination of the Becca Foundation plus that heavy ass powder from Pure, it's a very heavy moment. Okay guys, let's go on with some highlighter. I'm very intrigued by this. I don't think I've ever, obviously I've never used this highlighter before. It's like very icy. Wow. Wow. That's stunning. I would definitely recommend this like if you were fairer in complexion, a little bit lighter. Cause it is, it does have almost like this silvery undertone and it can go awry quick. I can tell. Oh, this can go awry real quick. If you're like tan or deeper, I would feel like this will kind of look a little gray on you. But on me, it looks nice because it's literally, I'm very fair. But this is nice, you guys. This really is nice. Wow. Okay, so I'm gonna go do my brows on my camera. Um, and I'll be right back and we'll do the eyes. So far, other than being caked up, not too bad, not too bad. Okay guys, so we are back, and the brows are filled. Back and the brows are filled. Back and the brows are filled. Anyway, so, back and the brows are filled, and I actually also primed my lids off of camera as well. Nice little light filter, nothing crazy, nothing wild, nothing insane. But you guys, palette wise, let's go over our options here. What do we have for the shadows? We have two palettes. We have some Dragon Beauty. These, this is the Fantasy Volume 1 palette. This, I would say, of all the palettes that Nikita ever did, or Dragon Beauty ever did, it would have to be the Fantasy like Volume 1. This was for $6.99, super insane price save. And it has like more of a neutral color story. Can you see that? Half of it's purple, but still more on the neutral side. And then you guys, I grabbed this uh, Nicole Miller New York Nude Essentials for $5.99. Super, super inexpensive. I don't think I've ever tried anything from Nicole Miller before. But the packaging, I was kind of like, oh, okay, like that seems decent. It's like plasticky. It's kind of weighted pretty well. I was like, I was not disappointed. So I open it and it has like this really pretty nude color story. It's giving me very Huda Beauty vibes, 1 million percent. But I was like, you know, why don't we just try it out and see what they feel like? I'm swatching one. Swatching two. So it's a little chalky. Hmm. So we have dust here. <laughs> Okay, um, hmm. Should we swatch the marbly shades? Let's see. That's hard as stone. That is hard as stone. These are some of like the chalkiest, powderiest, not pigmented shadows I've ever experienced, touched, or had the pleasure of touching. Oh, that one feels really nice. This copper one felt nice. Barely in a shimmer though, barely in a sheen. Um, I'm gonna probably just dip into the Dragon Beauty ones. And we'll do these in the crease. Cause when we swatch transition, ooh, butter, it's butter. Way more pigmented, way more buttery, which I knew, I mean, I knew they would. Let me show you guys. We have, ah, uh, see, that's what I was expecting. We have, boom, nice brown transition shade. And I actually grabbed a bunch of Dragon Beauty stuff. They had a good amount of like options. Like I had like, boom. So I grabbed some lip liners, a liquid lipstick and a eyeliner. Really cool. I also grabbed this just for the eyes. I'll just show you guys what I grabbed for the eyes. I grabbed this little uh, Shimmer Up Stila 12, for $12.99. It's three of the Shimmer and Glows. I fucking love these. And I also grabbed these from Stila. These were the Glitter and Glows and Shimmer and Glow uh, for $5.99 each. So, um, but let's go in with some shadows. I already know these are gonna be good because I've definitely used Nikita shadows before and they have been fire. So I'm gonna go in with Transition. They're pigmented and they're kind of powdery. So you gotta be a little more on the careful, careful side. As you can see, see like I'm literally using the lightest shade here with light pressure and look how much pigment's going down. I don't even think I even need the warm brown to deepen because it's already like, boom. They work great, they blend well. It looks gorgeous, it looks absolutely gorgeous. I'll do one eye on camera and one eye off. Um, Maybe we'll do like purple on the bottom lash line. What do you guys think about that? I'll take a little bit of Harajuku. I'm gonna put that on the lower lash line. Gorgeous purple, look at that. Purple's hard to do, you guys. That's nice. Really pretty. I'm gonna do a nice little purple lower lash line. And let's go on with, you guys, which one should we go in with? These, like, I just, I like these. I already know I like them. These are the shades, like, I go with. Let me show you guys the options. It was Shimmer Up. And these are the ones I 
use. Like these three were three that I use constantly. So I was like, oh, I have to get this just to have for travel. Kitten, Grace, and Starlight. Those are my three. These are the three shades I use all the time. So it was literally perfect. Perfect for travel. I'm literally gonna be using that constantly. I love them. Imagine they're dried out as fuck. Oh my God, I'll cry. Hold on. Oh, nope, still gorge. <laughs> And the shimmer and glows, they're not like super, super intensely pigmented like like glitter and glows can be, like they're not as intense. Some of them are, but not all of them. Oh, that's, I'm gonna show you guys just swatches of them because I think this is a really good set. Like this is one of my favorite finds there. So these are the three right here. Can you guys tell, I mean, you guys can tell the difference. Oh, shadows over here. These are the shimmer and glows, the three of them. Insane. Love, love. And they're still wet as fuck. So they're still like workable. Okay, let's take Rockin' Rose. I'm a little worried because that's a little drier. That's a bit drier. Should I just try it? Fuck, dude, this is dry as hell. We'll see. Bang. I'm gonna put this all over the lid. You guys, it's so patchy. I fucked up. It's so bad. Let's see if you can tell on, the ca on my phone how bad it is. Like, I don't, on camera, I feel like you can't see how bad it is, but I need you guys to really understand the gravity of the situation. Can you guys see that? Like how there's literally it's patchy as hell. There's like no pigment in certain spots. None. I'm terrified. But what we're gonna do? We're gonna we're gonna turn this around. We're gonna turn this around. So what we're gonna do? I'm gonna use this as a base for the shade Pop Star here in the palette, and we're gonna use that on the lid as our like moment. We'll just do more of a purpley lavender kind of eye in general. So that looks way better. I was scared. I really was. Maybe I'll use a little bit of this on like the lower part because it's already have a base down. So it could probably look really cool. See, should we do the eyeliner? Let's try the teddy bear eyeliner. Hopefully it's not dried out yet. You never know. You never know. Not fully dried out yet. Love that for us. I love brown eyeliner so much. This is working gorgeously. Okay, good. This was a great find. And the eyeliner, I got it for fucking $3.99, dude. For $3.99. Are you joking? That's amazing. That's amazing. Take a little bit more of the pop star shade up on the inner corner. Just a little bit, like a little, to really brighten it up. I'm living. No, but I'm literally living. You can't tell me nothing. You can't tell me nothing. I want to go and also try, I grabbed this, because it was intriguing. <laughs> this curler has like little edges. See that? It has like little like ribbed for his pleasure. It was, it's a comb curler, and I wanted to try it. I don't, think I've, I don't know if I've ever even used one of these before, but I wanted to try and see what the tea is. Oh my God, that scared me. Um, you know what? I don't know if this is my journey, cause it's a little scary. Let me just do a little mascara. This is the Innisfree Simple Label Volume and Curl Mascara. Got this for $3.99. Like the minimalist packaging, I think it's really cute. It's supposed to be volumizing and curling. Let's see if it does the job. This one isn't very like, what I would expect from a curling mascara, but we're gonna see. This is what we have so far. And then we're gonna do a little bit on the lower lashes. I feel like the wand is good for the lower lashes. I don't know if it's great for the top because it doesn't like, oh, I feel like it doesn't deposit that much mascara. It's really good in there. I will say though with the, with the it was either the, it's, I think it's the curler. I feel like my lashes are a little bit more curled with the curler. Huh. You know, it's curly, but I think it's curly because of the actual guillotine, the lash curler and not, Mascara itself. Um, when I do the other eye off camera, I'm gonna use a different mascara and see if it was the curler or if it's the, actually the mascara, if it's doing what it's saying it's doing. It's actually curling my lashes because usually my lashes don't look this curled after just mascara. So we'll see. I'll be right back. I'll let you guys know the tea, the real tea. Okay, guys, so I quickly just went ahead and did the other eye off of camera. And so this is what the look looks like. I'm not gonna lie. Okay. I kind of have to eat my words. I take it back. I take it back. The Innisfree Curl Mascara, I do feel kept my curl because I tried, this is the other one I had grabbed from the store. This is the Morphe Coca-Cola 1971 collaboration on this eye. And I don't feel like my curl held whatsoever. And I used the same exact curler. It was exactly the same. This one, I do feel like you can see my lashes compared to this one. I take it back, Innisfree, I take it back. It definitely worked. I mean, I had to layer it and, you know, build it on up and things like that, but still, I'm very impressed. <laughs> Man, did I eat my words. I ate them. Because I thought what was giving me the lift was this. I mean, this was too. This definitely did give me a nice curl. I'm not going to lie, by the way. This also eat my words a little bit on this one. It's kind of weird and it kind of freaks me out. I'm scared I'm going to fucking hurt myself. But it gave me a nice curl. It really did. Okay, let's go and put some lashes on. So I actually grabbed two pairs of lashes. I grabbed Tangy Tangerine from Cara Duo. This one right here, which I thought was like a pretty, really nice flary lash. 
And then I grabbed these that look really nice. These are $4.99. These are the Kala 3D Weightless Clio lashes. And they do they remind me of, they remind me of like those like old school pair of lashes that everyone would be obsessed with. It was like the one that flared at the end that looked spiky. I can't remember what the name of it is. If you guys can, please comment down below if you guys remember what it's called. So, let me see what this will look like on. Hmm, okay. You guys, we've had some hits in here in today's video. We've had some misses. Some misses for sure, but we've had some hits in here too. Like, I'm not mad. It's kind of what I expect. Like, with these kind of videos, I expect there to be hits and I expect there to be misses. I expect there to be a little bit of both. So, we had that. We had that. I'm impressed with this fucking, this curled side. I'm not gonna lie. Tell me why it was actually hard to put this lash on because of the fact that my lashes were so, so curled on this side. Not that being difficult because of how curly my lashes were, my real lashes were. What the hell? That never happens to me. Um, okay, so with the other lash on, I should have trimmed it. I like these lashes, by the way. I think they're really pretty. I think they give me a nice, like, little flare. I think they look good. Okay, guys, so now, lip-wise, I actually ended up grabbing a couple things. We grabbed two lip liners from Dragon Beauty. She has great lip liners. I think they did a fantastic job. I grabbed 1C and 5C. Those are the only two shades that they had, but I really like 1C specifically. So I think that was a gorgeous little steal, and those were only $3.99. 1C is like a really nice tan nude shade, more like a pinky nude, pulls it more pink. Really pretty. I, I love that lip liner. And then we have 5C, which is much more of like a pinky kind of shade. See that? It's like a deep pink, a rosy, a rosy deep pink. And I grabbed a liquid lipstick in Dragon Blood and Dragon Beauty for $4.99. Dragon Glass. Oh, it's a gloss. It's a fucking gloss. I thought it was a liquid lipstick. Okay. A full coverage gloss. I'm not really into full coverage color glosses. It's just not my thing. That's what that looks like. Not a fan of uh, full coverage glosses, but it's okay. I, and I grabbed this from Lancome. It was already wrapped. It's $10.99. And this is the Lip Replumping Balm. Imagine there's no color to it whatsoever and it's just literally an, a lip balm. And I grabbed it for nothing. Oh my god, it is. Motherfucker. It was wrapped. I couldn't unbox it. It's literally just a, a balm. It's a lip plumping balm. Okay. We're just gonna go ahead and put some balm on. Feels nice, but fuck. Okay. Um. We'll take the 1C lip liner. Just give me a little something, something. I feel like I have pretty pink lips naturally, so that's not the end of the world. And so that's that for the lip. I literally just did lip liner, and that's all I'm doing, and a little bit of lip balm. No red gloss for me. Okay, you guys, and this is the final look, and this lash keeps dropping, and I'm gonna start swinging. If it drops again, I'm gonna swing. But this is the final look. What do you guys think? Not bad, right? Like, not bad. I feel like we got into a good spot. There was obviously a lot of hits. There was a lot of misses as well. I definitely struggle with some things, but there were a lot of really, really good products in here that I definitely would highly recommend. Like the Dragon Beauty products, very, very well done products. I think they're really, really great and high quality. So if you guys find Dragon Beauty stuff and you've been interested in trying it, I think you guys should try it and you would be really impressed. I really, really do. I obviously love Stila. I love the Stila, like the, the little kit, this one, huge fan. Huge fan personally, I think these are fantastic. I love them for like a nice sheer wash of like glow color on the lid. I think they're great. I really, really do. That would be a really great find. The Shiseido, of course, the Tatcha that's there. Sometimes you really be out here finding some shit. Like you're really out here finding some good ass shit at Marshalls. But what do you guys think? Did you guys like Marshalls or TJ Maxx better? I'm curious, like what do you guys think? For me, I feel like I, I found better finds at Marshalls. Things that I'll like continue to use, definitely more at Marshalls. Like for example, like my lip liner or some Dragon Beauty, I'm like, <laughs> Staying right there. Bobby Brown, Mac. There was some good stuff. There was some really, really good stuff that I was really impressed. So far, I would say of the two, Marshalls would take it over TJ Maxx, and I feel like it was just more organized in the store as well. What store should I do next? Should we do like Ross? Should we do uh, Nordstrom Rack? See what's worth the coin, what's worth the little extra splurge? Let me know. Let me know. But other than that, have a great rest of the night or day wherever you guys are, and I'll catch you guys in my next video. Bye. I love you so much. Mwah. Well, let's start. Let's start this way. Where's my car? Where the fucking fuck is my car, you guys? <laughs> Let me hush up and let's blush up. I'm looking cakey. I'm looking cakey. When life throws you lemons, you make a lavender little fucking soup. Gorgeous, gorgeous girls. I'm mm -hmm. hungry. Where's my lash glow? Where's my lash glow? My wings aren't even, I don't wanna talk about it, babes.
Where are you, Christmas? Put the thing back where it came from, or so help me. So help me, so help me. Thank <laughs> you. 